still to come on tonight's CBS Evening News, anti-terror efforts, an artist, and the troubling picture it paints. And later, Nancy Reagan's emotional test of endurance. An incident in New York City is fueling the debate over balancing homeland security and the constitutional rights of citizens. Of all places, this flap unfolded in one of the world's most famous art museums. Kelly Cobiella explains. While artist Arthur Robbins has dabbled in political protest in the past, his current art has nothing to do with politics. But when a piece of art protesting President Bush was illegally posted on a wall at New York's Metropolitan Museum, it was Robbins so who was fingered as the man behind Saturday. it. Why were you, of all people, pulled aside by police and museum guards? The only thing they told me was that a 60-year-old woman pointed me out. It didn't end there. Why are we here, Arthur? I don't know. I really don't know. Well, we do. What Detectives from New York's anti-terrorism squad came to his home at 11 o'clock that night without a warrant to ask more questions. Robbins videotaped the half-hour interrogation. We just want to know what you're protesting. What I'm protesting? Yes, sir. Who said I'm protesting something? I think it's an example of the police overreacting. The latest example civil rights activists fear of an overzealous pursuit of security that sometimes compromises civil liberties. Last month, Oregon attorney Brandon Mayfield spent two weeks in jail because his fingerprints had been confused with those of a suspect in the terrorist train bombings in Madrid. The police have to be smarter than that. They have to be more discerning than that, more discriminating than that. Even security experts agree some lines can't be crossed. Trouble is, the U.S. courts haven't drawn those lines yet. The good news is we have a system that will eventually reestablish that line, and I have confidence that it will be done. So far, the New York Police Department has not responded to a request from CBS News for comment on the Robbins questioning, but the officers who visited him admitted they saw no threat. The criminality yeah. is like this. Right, okay, yeah. There's nothing there. Robbins was cleared, but is still troubled. It's not that they brutalized me, but it's psychological terror. In a war where terrorists, not civil rights, are supposed to be the targets. Kelly Cobiella, CBS News, New York. Just ahead on tonight's CBS Evening News, the possible hidden danger of childhood vaccines. And the poster, the president and police asking a lot of questions. It's CBS2 exclusive video. Good evening, I'm Mary Calvi. I'm Todd McDermott. More on the fire rescue in a moment. But first, did police go too far? An anti-Bush cartoon had police responding in force to the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Then to a Queens artist's home. What happened next was all caught on videotape. Why are we here, Arthur? I don't know. I really don't know. Well, we do. A half-hour interrogation of local artist Arthur Robbins all over what was found inside New York's Metropolitan Museum of Art. The only thing they told me was that a 60-year-old woman pointed me out. A 12 by 18 cartoon of President Bush was hung illegally with double-sided tape on a museum wall. On the paper next to the president was a drawing of an explosion with the word BAM. Detectives from New York's anti-terrorism squad came to Arthur Robbins' home at 11 o'clock that same night last week to ask questions. We just want to know what you're protesting. What I'm protesting? Yes, sir. Who said I'm protesting something? Robin says his art has nothing to do with politics. He videotaped the questioning with their knowledge. Well, you know how many people at the museum this afternoon? About 30. 30 what? Cops. Cops? 30 yeah. cops? Yeah. Yeah. This? Yes. Hey. Fire department. Fire, Fire department. department? Oh, yeah, big time. Oh, so there was a, a threatening letter then? No, no, the letter was not threatening at all. It's not a threatening letter. Then why would that be so because much? Arthur, Arthur, in that, in what, in that day, and what we deal with, everything is just ratcheting it up. I think it's an example of the police overreacting. Civil rights activists fear an overzealous pursuit of security that sometimes compromises civil liberties. The police have to be smarter than that. They have to be more discerning than that, more discriminating than that. Police officials have no comment, but officers at the Robbins home that night admitted the crime was almost insignificant. The criminality here is like minute. It's, not what it's, le it's less than... It's so like, why are there five detectives here? Because we're working on this together. Robbins was cleared, but is troubled. It's not that they brutalized me, but it's psychological terror. 
No one has been charged with illegally putting up the anti-Bush cartoon. There was no damage done to the museum. Todd. In other news, according to an Islamic website, an American man living in Saudi Arabia has been kidnapped by Al-Qaeda. The statement purportedly from that terror group claims they're holding the Jersey native Paul Marshall Johnson, an employee of Lockheed Martin. Included